Hi guys, welcome to our grocery haul today. It's Friday morning and I got the delivery from Coles for this morning because I thought it'd be easier if I just did it when everyone was gone to school. It's only me and Violet home. She's just there. If you can hear a bit of a weird noise, I've got a white noise machine on her swing. So I'm just gonna get straight into the grocery haul. What I wanted to do this week was try and do $5 per person per day. Not including Violet, of course, because she doesn't have anything from here except Nappy wipes and nappies. I didn't get nappies this week, but that's usually all she would have, nappy wipes and nappies. So I didn't include her in the cost. I actually did it for less than $5 per person per day. If you take out the things that we don't actually eat, like the laundry detergents, the food we're gonna eat, less than $5 per person per day for the nine of us. So that's me, Dad, Caleb Baden, Jade, Rory, Ebony, Elliot, and Sebastian. I'll show you what I got, and I'm gonna put the prices on the screen, and then I'll show you the total at the end to see how it works out. So I'll just start with the frozen. We're gonna have a pizza night one night this week, and these street pizzas are really yummy. They're usually $10 each, but they were down to $5 each, so we got six of them, which is only $30 for the whole meal. We got two pepperoni, two supreme, and two margarita to make sure Ebony can have some. I also got these Meat-free hot and spicy burgers for Ebony's meals when we have our chicken schnitzels. So they're frozen and then some potato gems, which is going to be a side dish for another meal. Strawberry slices and a party pack. They're on special and it's always good for a quick meal on the weekend. We've got six times three liter bottles of milk like we always do. We have been going through that fairly quickly at the moment because I stopped buying fizzy drink for the kids to drink for the last couple of months. So they've been drinking milk which is fine, but that's all we can fit in the fridge. So we probably only need to get one more bottle towards the end of the week. And we also just got some parmesan cheese and tomato pesto for Ebony's pesto pasta when we have our spaghetti and some chili powder for dad's chili. Fresh fruit and veg, not a whole lot this week because I've got a very specific meal plan, which I will go through with you guys in tomorrow's vlog when I do a meal prep video. So we got two packets of pre-made salad mixes. We've got a Mexican style one and I ordered a ranch one but they substituted it for this American barbecue salad which looks pretty good. Two bags of red seedless grapes, a bunch of kiwi fruits, oranges, pink lady apples and mandarines, a bag of granny smith apples and two bunches of bananas. And then we've got the cold dairy and meat. I got six of the yogurt pouches for the boys. I was getting them 10 a week because they had one every day, but they haven't been eating them all, so I didn't want to get the extra four and waste the money. And these ones were on special this week, so I got them instead of the Coles brand. I got a couple of packets of dip, which is also on special, spicy capsicum and French onion, and they'll be used for some of the after school snack next week. Two tubs of olive oil spread. I'm going to be making freezer sandwiches for the kids next week, so I'm going to need to make sure there's plenty of margarine. And then I've got some sour cream because I'm going to get Dad to make his chili that he makes so well that we all enjoy. Tub of Greek yogurt for after school snacks and natural yogurt. And then these were on special too double thick custard vanilla flavour and also chocolate flavour. And again, they will be. After school snacks, a dollop of that on some fruit for the kids. Some pizza blend shredded cheese. That's a bit of a splurge, this one, because we don't really need it. But if you know me, I don't grate cheese, so it's handy to have it already grated. And the pizza blend is really yummy as well. And then we've got the chicken schnitzels. And these are going to go for two meals. There's 12 of them. So we found that with the three oldest boys have moved out, we have cut back a lot on our meat. So it can spread into two meals now instead of just one. So we're going to have five of them will be for school lunches and then the rest of them will be for dinner along with some sides. Same thing with the mince. We can split that in half now and half will be for chili and half will be for spaghetti. Got some honey ham down there, a four pack. Two packets of salami. We've got two packets because the little boys like to have a little bit of salami and crackers in their lunch at school. 
And then we've got some for the teenagers as well to make sure there's enough for everyone. We've got 12 eggs there, free range, 12 large eggs. I'm gonna make some more ham, cheese and egg muffins on the weekend. It's always a nice treat. Now we've got a lot of substitutes with the bread this week, which is good because we've got some great bread. So I ordered two of the Coles Raisin Toast for breakfast on the weekend, but we got one Coles brand and one Tip Top. And then we've got two loaves of wholemeal, two loaves of mixed grain halgers. I ordered the multi-grain Coles brand, so we've got some nice halgers bread there. It's much bigger slices. Two loaves of Coles white sandwich loaf. And I ordered three, but they gave us a white toast loaf for the third one because they must have been out. And then I ordered a Coles sourdough, but obviously they were out, so we got the Helga's sourdough. Same thing with the Tip Top muffins. I ordered the Coles brand, but they gave us the Tip Top English muffins. And over the back there, a packet of 12 croissants for the kids' school lunches. And then we've got the school snacks. Haven't tried these before, but they were on special as well. I'd like to shop all the specials when I can. In fact, when I go online and do the shopping, I always start on the half price specials and then I go to all the regular specials before I go to our page where it shows all the items I've bought before. So this has got the roasted chickpeas, dark choc and raspberry. I'm not sure how that's gonna go, but we'll see if the kids like them or not. Got some peckish cheddar cheese flavor, mini Ritz, two different flavors of Pringles. We've got some frozen cookies and then the muesli bars were half price. So I've got three packets of them. Same as the roll ups, two packets of them. We got two boxes of Sun Bites, caramelized onion and balsamic vinegar. These ones, again, we haven't tried. These Balveda Minis, honey and chopped chip. They look pretty good. The little boys can't live without their LCM, so we always get a packet of them. And then popcorn as well, sea salt flavor and butter flavor. And then for the breakfast cereals, usually I just get the cheap Coles brand, but these are on special and every now and then when it's been a few weeks, when the kids are just eating wheat bix and cornflakes every day, Coles brand cornflakes, I'll get some fancy cereal. Since it was half price, I got some crunchy nut cornflakes and some Nutri-Grain. And also Sebastian loves his oats, or as he calls them, soats. And this is the flavor he likes. And he'll often leave his cereal, but he'll always eat his soats. And they were a good deal this week too. Then we have the pet food. Now, we, they didn't have our usual brand. Lolly didn't used to eat this one, but she last time they substituted it, she seemed fine with it. So I'll keep an eye on it, make sure she is eating it. Otherwise, I'll have to go and find some in store. But we've got the ocean fish flavor cat food. Packet of toilet paper. Can't seem to get the big packs online that I usually get anymore because they're always unavailable. But these ones aren't too bad of a deal. And I always buy this when it's half price. This is the odor eliminating Dynamo laundry wash because Baden is a cook at KFC and his uniform smells really bad. So I have to wash it with this and it makes it smell good again. That's really expensive. It's over $20. So I always make sure I pick it up when it's half price, even if I don't need it. And a packet of nappy wipes. We have a few lying around, but I never want to run out of nappy wipes. So that's this week's grocery haul. I know it's a Friday, so it doesn't seem like we're starting a fresh new week, but I'm going to be doing it on Fridays from now on, just because it's just me and Violet. So it's easier for me to do this when I'm home alone. Now I've got the rest of the day to meal prep which you guys will see on Monday for Meal Prep Monday, but I'm also gonna make some freezer sandwiches for the kids' lunches. I'll probably put that blog up tomorrow just to show you what sandwiches we freeze. The total for all of this, I'm gonna put the price in the corner here. So that is $5 per person per day. So thanks guys for watching our grocery haul. It was just a quick one today, but I've got a lot on today, so I'm gonna finish the vlog here. Please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And until tomorrow, hooray mate.